Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and hockey fans across the uh, World Wide Web. This is WIA TV, and we are presenting Fox River Classic Conference Hockey. Tonight, the De Pere Voyagers come into the Cornerstone Community Center to take on your Ashwaubenon Jaguars. Joining me in the booth tonight is Greg Aparicio. I'm Bernie Rushlow, and Greg, beautiful uh, weather for some hockey tonight. It really is, Rushlow. Uh, you know, we can come out. Playing this cold weather should be a good game. The uh, PA announcer uh, is getting set for the national anthem as both teams are, are lined up on the respective sides of the ice. It's the first time we've done a live hockey game. We've done one pre-recorded in the past. Um, this one will be live. Jaguars come into tonight 0-4. A little bit of a rebuilding season and the here. Uh, with the starting lineups for the for the game. The Pier Voyagers first. Jaguar Hockey, the goalie is Ryan Wishow. Matt Berkovitz is a defenseman. Jeremy Pastersky, also a defenseman. Jake Grunewald at the wing. Phil Epperson. And James Block forward. And we're underway. Greg, I was, as I was saying, the Jaguars on a bit of a rebuild this year. Zero and four so far. The Voyagers come in three and one. Uh, I believe they won all their conference matches. The one loss was in a tournament. Um, so not sure what we're going to expect tonight. I'm sure the Jaguars are fired up to, for the upset. See what happens. Yep, definitely a lot of diversity tonight. And if this house is rocking, we'll come knocking. That's right, Rashlo. Got quite a few fans here tonight. Yeah, not a bad crowd for a late night game. We're getting a pretty late start tonight due to some uh, ice scheduling issues, I guess. And facing off for the Jaguars will be forward Jake Rudolph. For the Voyagers, number 17 is Trace Jackowitz, the captain. Jaguars control early.
Joe Vanderloos for the, for the Voyagers bringing it back to Jaguar side of the rink. Shot on goal, nice uh, block by Wishaw. Matt Berkovic bringing it back down. Jaguars are doing a great job holding up the defense. Really gaining control of this game early. Goalkeeper for the Voyagers, Alec Call. He'll stop play momentarily. Yeah, that can't be right. It's not Alec Call. It is Ross Kulik, who's the other captain. Got to get those glasses out so I can see numbers, Greg. Yep. And uh, teams are up against the board in our blind spot, so we'll uh, wait till we pull out of there. Berkovic takes the shot. Knocked out of there by Kulik. Great save. Not sure what the call is there, Greg, but we'll have a face-off on the defensive side for the Jaguars. Uh, Rasha, I think he said slashing. That's what he said? Okay. It's a major infraction. So, Carpenter get a two-minute, 50-second penalty for slashing. You know, it really hurt the team. So it appeared with the power play. Trying to get something going. Jaguar defenseman holding it on. Shot on goal by number 19. That's Robert Newworth. It was a great save. Ryan Michelle. A lot of action down there in front of the net. A couple of shots. Wish out with a couple of nice saves. It's a great way to hold out. About 30 seconds left in this penalty. Puck in the air. Massive substitutions now.
Jake Rudolph for the Jaguars hustling down there. Got great puck handling skills. And end of the penalty phase for the Jaguars and the DePier power play nets nothing. So far, the Voyagers have four shots on goal, and the Jaguars just one. A lot of that happened in that penalty period when the Voyagers had the power play. Eleven and a half minutes left in this first period. Not sure what that call was all about, Greg, but I'm not too sure. Another shot and save by Ryan Wushow. Trace Josowitz taking that shot. Steal there by Craig Block. So we got a great hustle down there. Wish out another save. And he's still only a junior. Indeed. Substitutions once again. Get the starting lineups back in. Jake Rudloff, he's a sophomore in the action there. Typically a young team. Yes, indeed. Oh, 
Philip Michelson tripped up there, but no call. Jaguar is kind of trying to clear this out and uh, almost the cost of the mistake. Another shot deflected by Wishow. A couple more shots sitting in front of the goal. That's a dangerous spot. It really is. Jaguars gain control and bring it down the ice. Shot by Matt Berkovitz. Berkovitz on the run. Ooh, nice shot. Couple of nice. Saves there by Kulik. Tremendous effort. <laughs> so the face off. Jake Rudloff in the action down there. Alex Vandenberg clearing it for the Voyagers. A little bit of a run there. Once again, that's Craig Block getting tripped up for the Jaguars. And we got a tripping called on Alex Christensen for the Voyagers. Gonna be some penalty time. How much you think, Greg? Two? Two minutes. All right.
Brings the face off to the De Pere defensive side. Wish out clearing the puck to his left. De Pere taking control again. Berkovic now uh, setting up to clear it out of the Jaguar side. Berkovic slides it over to Ruloff. Ruloff. Robert Neuwirth on the steal there, takes a sh uh, shot, shot by Josewitz. Once again, right in the gut of Wishow, so that'll come out and be a defensive faceoff. Parker DeRozier around the backside. Swings it up top and Pesterski. Logan Donovan back there battling with Will Reby. Beard takes control again. Two seconds left on that penalty, and out they come. Jaguar is nothing for the power play. DeRozier flings it deep. Four minutes left in the first period. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Rudloff on a bit of a run, now Berkovic along the board. A lot of skating left to go here tonight. Yes, there is. Kulik clearing it out for the Redbirds, or uh, calling the Redbirds the Voyagers. And I'll clear that up at the uh, period break. Greg, why they're not the Redbirds and they are the Voyagers. Oh, okay. I think I can clear it up. Jaguars looking to clear this. Can't quite get there. Voyagers looking for a shot. Really trying to make something happen. Emmett Kulik down there trying to get something in. So with 219 left in the first period, defensive phase off for the Jags. And Berkovic trying to clear it out of there. Swings it up to 
block. Block on a bit of a run. He's got a man across the center. Can't get it to him. That was Zach Johnson coming up. Hillier over there on the board trying to clear that thing out of there. It's the block. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, Rudloff. Ooh, Rudloff. Ooh. Big check on. Uh, looks like Brett Four. Brett Fox. Really laid him out. Shot by Rag Bus. Another shot by James Block. Save. <laughs> DeRoger will take the face off against uh, Joe Splitz. Trying to get something going for the Voyagers. And uh, I believe we have an icing call. Wouldn't you say? Got about 15 seconds left on the clock. John Dietzen clearing it out for the Jags. And that'll do it for the first period. No score and a lot of action. Of course, that's what hockey is, a lot of action. Should be interesting. So while the teams head to the locker room, we're going to stay right here. Well, maybe we won't. I'm not sure if we're going to go to break or not.
Uh, I kind of need it for this class. Pencil? Uh, I kind of need it for this class right now, but you can buy a bunch of other pencils behind Mr. Robert's room in the school store next term. Okay, but I need to borrow that for right now. Okay. Okay, bye. If you're in room 111 right behind Mr. Robert's room, this is where the school store is going to be. Starting next term, you can buy scissors, pencils, and anything else you can imagine here. Bullying is bad, but there are multiple forms of bullying. Cyberbullying is as bad as regular really bullying, and depending on what the person is saying or doing, it can be even worse. Bullying can be harsh and put a huge emotional toll on somebody. If you won't say it in person, don't say it online. Most people have the common assumption that physical abuse is the most common type of bullying, and actually, it is verbal abuse. The difference between hazing and verbal abuse is that hazing is a form of blackmail and bad peer pressure, while verbal abuse is taunting and calling someone who thinks. Be a buddy, not a bully. Well, the Zamboni has left the ice and we're just waiting for the teams to return. Once again, a scoreless first period. Uh, two power plays, one for each team, no scoring, obviously. Uh, De Pere Voyagers, 13 shots on goal. 
Eshwaban and Jaguars seven. But that's all the action. Um, mentioned that I'd uh, discuss the teams a little bit. The De Pere Voyagers are made up of players from both De Pere and West De Pere. And that's perhaps why they don't take the uh, Redbird name. Not sure. But it's a plausible argument. Five West De Pere players on the Voyagers team and the rest are from De Pere. The uh, Ashwaubenon team is made up of several schools. Most of the players from Ashwaubenon, there are uh, three from Wrightstown, two from Pulaski, and one from Seymour. So combined team. Voyagers take the ice again. Waiting on the Jaguars. So your Ashwaubenon players on the Ashwaubenon team. Of course, the uh, goalkeeper, Ryan Wishow, is a uh, junior from Ashwaubenon. Parker DeRosier, the forward, is a senior from Ashwaubenon. Jake Rudloff, number five, is a sophomore from Ashwaubenon. Matt Berkovit, number six, is also a junior from Ashwaubenon. Number seven, Radek Buss, is, uh, the defenseman, is a junior from Wrightstown. And James Block, number eight, is a uh, forward, also a junior from Wrightstown. Number nine, Josh Krieger, is a defenseman, senior from Pulaski. Number ten is Craig Block, who is a forward, junior, also from Wrightstown. Number 12, Max Benson is a forward, sophomore from Ashwaubenon. Number 13, Phil Mickelson is a forward, junior from Seymour. 14, Tim LaHillier, a forward, sophomore from Pulaski. Number 15 is Logan Donovan, who is a defenseman, a junior from Ashwaubenon. 16 is Jeremy Pastersky. Uh, junior defenseman from Ashwaubenon. Number 18, Zach Johnson, is a freshman forward from Ashwaubenon. Number 19, Andrew Kaufman, is a senior forward from Ashwaubenon. Number 20 is John Dietzen, a sophomore defenseman from Seymour. And number 30 is Casey Stewart, a freshman goalie from Ashwaubenon. And faceoff starts the second period. Here, moving onto the Ashwaubenon on side of the ice. Berkovic on the run, looking for a shot, scores! 16-14 left in this second period. Matt Berkovic, the junior defenseman. That was a great shot. Really Pops one it. past Kulik. Brought it down there and put it in. Uh, Voyager goalie Ross Kulik not quite expecting that caught, caught a little bit by surprise Jake Rudloff and Phil Michelson get the assist Berkovic goal Shot down there by uh, Hunter McCutcheon. And I uh, wish I'll stomp on that one.
Redick bus clearing it up for the Jaguars. Looking for the shot, not there. Andy Colts bringing it down for the Voyagers. Looking for McCutcheon across the middle, can't find him. That's cleared out, we're gonna get an icing call. Will Reby taking a shot, can't get it. Really got a lot of action in there. Berkovic slides it ahead. Looking it up. Uh, I have number two as Noah Harrison. Uh, he's on the JV roster, Greg, I'm not sure. Playing a little varsity today. <laughs> Philip Michelson fighting for something down underneath. Shot by James Block. Goes high. Block again, taking it in, looking for something. Kulik knocks it out of there. This time it's Berkovic taking another shot. Icing will bring it back to the That's his face off. Looking for the shot there. Big pile up underneath, a little bit of uh, extracurricular scuffle. Trace Joseph was taking a shot and then a big pile up there, see if they're gonna issue any penalties. Looks like not. Joe Vandalist with a attempt at a shot there. Wish out covers. Ooh, we got some some hitting the ice hard. Jaguars are really putting up a good defense. Derosier went down. They're gonna. I believe we're gonna have a penalty.
think we've got two penalties here. Okay, so Parker DeRozier and Vandalis for roughing. And they go out, but they have substitutes because it's a double penalty. Robert Newworth with the shot around Wishow's left side. Ties the score up, 1-1 with 12.03 left in the second period. One of them got a little cheap shot on Jake Rudolph after the play. He's really shooken up by that. Newworth, a senior from East Pier High School. on uh, the Piers, so they'll be shorthanded for a bit, for two minutes. The penalty was for roughing. Let's see if the Jaguars can make something happen here. Jaguars killed a lot of time on their own side of the ice when they got the power play. Wish I was stepping up to slap it back out of there. One minute left in the penalty. About 10.30 left in the period. Block swinging it around the outside. Dropping it back to Rudloff. Johnson with the shot. Blocked there, 40 seconds left in the penalty. Off on the face off. Yeah, they're going to switch it up. Mm. Donovan and Berkovic work in the defense area. 20 seconds left in the penalty. They'll try to make a run before it appears at full strength. Logan Donovan took a shot. Nice save. End of the penalty. That means that uh, Jack just has skated out of the ice to grab that one. It's appeared turning up the heat here in the second half. Seems to be a lot more aggressive in the first than they were in the first.
Looks like a Jaguar penalty, not sure what. Interference on seven white. Radic bus. Now will be two minutes. Yeah, this will be interesting because the Jaguars have been really out aggressive in this uh, second period. Now they're down a man. Not sure who slapped that in, Greg. Did you see it? Yep. Thinking. I was thinking Hunter McCutcheon. I saw Christensen uh, take the first shot. He'll get the assist, but it was uh, McCutcheon that put it in. And, uh, of course, the goal automatically ends the power play for DePere. Jaguars back to full strength. Rudolph with the face off. Maybe we got a hold on here, I, th I think it uh, New Earth maybe. Yep, two minute penalty for holding uh, Robert New Earth. Number 19. Gives Jaguars the power play. New Earth will sit. See if they can make something happen. Try to tie it up. I tell you, you don't like to see that happen when you're uh, up a man. Tapir just gets control right away. Mm -hmm. Block trying to get something going, loses it. Berkovic now will pick it up. Looking for the shot off the right side.
Bark look, uh, block looking for DeRozier takes a shot into the glove of Kulik. getting dirty out here yeah i didn't see what that was all about but the fans seem to enjoy it and <laughs> some guy uh leveled our jake rudel off craig block gets a penalty for hooking it will be a two minutes so the teams are even for 40 seconds and then it'll be the pure power play Jaguars looking to get something down on their end with 15 seconds left before they go down a man. Here's full strength and that guy comes right in. Fifteen seconds left in the uh, penalty for the Jaguars. Ten minutes left. They tried to run this around the ring to kill that. Shot by Decker goes wide left. Jaguars back at full strength. Another long shot by Emmett Kulik. Great save by Ryan. Once again, we're in the second period. Three minutes, 21 seconds left. Score is 2-1. The Pier Voyagers are on top of the Ashwabana Jaguars. Icing, offsides, I'm not sure what. They'll bring it to the uh, De Pierce side. Face it off down there, which probably is icing. Got about 2.40 left no, in the they period. Won't. They'll take it right here.
Berkovic taking the shot. Looks like the freshman nicks it up down there. Checked there by Jake Rudloff, upending it was Newell. Newworth. Jaguars applying a little more pressure with a minute and a half left. And now we've got a blocking Ashwamanon foul. Interference or something. Got interference on 20. John Dietzen. That'll be a two minute and that's going to last the end of the rest of this period. Jaguars will be down a man. Bench getting a warning. Well, looks like the peer is going to go down uh, go. a man at you know, captain's choice. A little extracurricular activity there on the peer bench. A lot of interesting stuff being said down there. <clears throat> Had a choose a player at random by Captain's Choice and uh, chose Zach Langer, sophomore. Set out that penalty. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the bench was the call. Oh, was it? So that evens the sides for the uh, for the next two minutes. You're really dragging this second period out. It's getting past my bedtime, Greg. I can agree. As long as the press box doesn't get a warning, we're okay. <laughs> Got about a minute left on the clock for uh, the period. Berkovic looking to get something going. He's got block across the middle there. Can't get it to him. Mickelson clearing it out. Robert Newworth again with a nice move. Gets a shot, almost gets one. The Jags clear it out again. And at the buzzer, Zach Johnson taking the shot. End of the second period, 41 seconds left on each of the penalties, and uh, still two to one. The Pier Voyagers on top of Yorash Wabanon Jaguars. 
We'll take a break and be right back after these few messages and some time watching the Zamboni driver drive around. is bad, but there are multiple forms of bullying. Cyberbullying is as bad as regular bullying, and depending on what the person is saying or doing, it can be even worse. Bullying can be harsh and put a huge emotional toll on somebody. If you won't say it in person, don't say it online. Most people have the common assumption that physical abuse is the most common type of bullying, and actually it is verbal abuse. The difference between hazing and verbal abuse is that hazing is a form of blackmail and bad peer pressure, while verbal abuse is taunting and calling someone who thinks. Be a buddy, not a bully.
Well, welcome back to Late Night Hockey. Going on about 9.40 here. Got a late start tonight due to some ice problems. And uh, coming into the third period, the uh, Tapir Voyagers 2, Shrobin on Jaguars 1. 41 seconds left in a double penalty. So both teams will come out short but even. So far in the game, De Pere, 24 shots on goal. Ashwabin on 16. And uh, the uh, Voyagers looking a little more spry in the first period than they did in the, uh, excuse me, in the second period. Jaguars seem to have the upper hand in the first. scored both goals in the second period. Jaguar scored the first. Thirty seconds left in that penalty. And uh, Berkovic now bringing the Jaguars down. He's got block in the middle, looking for a shot, can't get it. And is gonna clear it out of there. Newworth really active tonight for the Voyagers. Rudloff looking across the middle. Can't find Johnson. Christensen taking a shot high for the Voyagers. T 
left-hander Decker taking a really long shot. Wound up in Wishow's glove. Greg, how about if I turn you on? If you're yeah. Interested. Andrew Kaufman with the face-off. Haven't seen much of Kaufman yet tonight. <laughs> Block with a tactical mistake there. Substitutions. Block lost the puck there, and that's created the situation where we get a hold for the Jaguars' two minute penalty. Radic bus. Matt Bergovitz with the face off. Switz looking for a shot, takes it, goes wide right, coming back in, almost scoots past Berkovic, and now not sure what they're calling. No call yet. Wish out looks like he's uh, a little shaken up. Shaking it out. Discussion with the officials down there. See the calls made. The peer looks uh, not happy with the call, so. Saves by Ryan Wishow. Another punch out by Wishow. Back to the top. Kulik looking to start something. And, uh, Berkowitz will clear it. on the run, looking in the middle, can't get it. Thirty seconds left in this penalty. Nice play down there by Johnson. Johnson keeping the Voyagers busy on their side of the ice, burning this penalty. Michelson down there as well. Oh, Michelson's been doing a great job creating some ruckus. End of the penalty period. Jaguars are full strength now, and they'll take it after the Voyagers.
block on the outside. Looking back to the middle, can't find anybody. Another penalty on the Jaguars. James Block. What was that called, Greg? High stick. High sticking. That's going to cost them two. They just got out of that penalty and they're right back in. Nice save by Ryan. Nice camera work. Emmett Kulik taking that slap shot from near the blue line right into the glove of Wishow. Parker DeRozier with the face off. Piers really trying to set something up. Trace Joseph was taking the shot there, and again, wish I grabs it. He's got quick hands, Rashaw. Some fresh bodies coming in on both sides. Christensen and DeRozier in the face off. And now they'll switch it up. Put Rudloff in there. Again, the glove of Wish on nabs it. DePierre with 31 shots, that's Robin on 16. Kind of lopsided. Yep. But give the Jags credit hanging in there in this penalty period. Down a lot. Matt Willems uh, whiffing there for the Voyagers. Little double shot on Ryan. Seemed to block it. Voyager's shooting at will, but nothing is getting past Wishow on the Jaguar defense. End of the penalty for the Jaguars. Now they're full strength. Tangle up there with uh, Redloff and the man who the Voyager was. Matt gets a puck here, trying to make something happen. Shot goes wide right. James Block with the shot. It's really just a tangle up down there. Voyager's looking for a tripping. Uh, they're going to reset the goal on the De Pier end.
nine minutes left in this third and final period. Jaguars looking to tie this thing up. Can't get the shot. Up here coming three on one now. Wish out there to stop it. Substitutions for the Jags. of action on the near side we can't really see from this press box. So. Icing on Jaguars, so that'll come back to their own side. Blocked on the left side. Cross in the middle. Shot by Johnson is off to the right. Icing on the pier, and we'll come back. Icing on the Jaguars. Six minutes left, Greg. Jaguars got to get something going here. Yes, they do. Want any chance of tying it up? Down 2-1. They period. haven't scored since the first period. Across the middle, nothing happening there. Nice save by Ryan again. Newworth, lots of shots tonight.
Rudloff taking it to the left. Looking for some help. Guys down there late. Gonna have icing on the pier. Bringing it back. Jaguars got four minutes to make something happen here. More on five. Craig Block on that face off. Mickelson over there looking to cross it back over. And here clearing it out. Berkovic on the defense there. Block looking for something. Take it away. Ryan with the save again. Shot by Joe Vandalist. Wishaw picks it out. Pier 35, shots on goal, Ashraga on 20. Wow. That puck's flying at Wisho a lot tonight. It is. Three and a half minutes left. Mike Shaw. Chalet. Taking Out. a shot near the blue line. DeRozier taking it alone. See if he can get it. And he can't. Cleared out of there by Shaw. Yeah. Apologize to the DePier fans that are tuning in for me slaughtering all the Tapir names and just that's the way it is. Not all of them, but most of them. I'm slaughtering some of the Jaguar names too, I know. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. Rachel. It's late. It's late. It's 10 o'clock already past my bedtime. Pretty early bedtime, Raj. 6.30. Another shot down there by, looks like Will Reby. Got about 2.30 left in the quarter. been a relatively penalty-free third period. Had a couple early on. It's always good. 
course, the fans like to see him mix it up a little more than that. That they do. Nice move by Block to get it to, uh, over into Pier Ice. Shot by Rudloff is high. And now we got a problem. Craig Block coming in slamming the Voyagers. So Block will sit out the rest of this game. Got an unsportsmanlike. Really laid that guy out. Jaguars will be a man down for the remaining 126. That's not where you want to be when you're down by a goal. It really is it. And we got a timeout. Jaguars. Oh, we got four minutes worth of penalty for uh, Craig Block. Yeah, he was filling the ref's ear a little bit on the way over here. Not sure what he said, but it got him an unsportsmanlike call to go on top of the roughing, so he'll sit in the box for four minutes. Sometimes it gets the best of us. Can't control it. It's an intense sport. It really is. People slamming you up against the boards. So the Jaguars have come out of this timeout. 126 left to go in period three. They're down two to one and down a man. Craig Block in the penalty box. Are the four out there? Jaguars are just sitting back, playing some good defense, waiting for something to happen. Something they can work off of. Got about one minute left. Jaguars take control. Moving Trying it down to get the ice. one more shot at this. Uh, They're really scrambling there around. Kulik. 30 seconds left. And, uh, looks like the Voyagers will slide it down to Jaguar ice. Get some. Well, they're going to call off the icing. Well, 10 minutes left on the clock. And that's going to do it. Rudloff's down. Seems to not be getting up. Tempers flaring a bit at the end of the game there. Okay. 
It appears a really dirty team, but you know, they came off with a win. So that'll do it here from the uh, Cornerstone Community Ice Center. Home of the Ashwabanan Jaguars. Your final score, De Pere Voyagers two, Jaguars one. Jaguars scored early, well, uh, midway through the first period and uh, put up a good fight, but uh, De Pere scored twice in the second period and that'll do it. So for Greg, Greg Aparicio, I'm Bernie Rushmore. Yeah. Saying good night here from the Cornerstone Ice Center. Uh, hopefully we'll be back on the air Friday with some basketball, not sure, but uh, see if we can get that up for you. Thanks and have a great evening. Until next time.